Hi and welcome to my channel Blue Chip Finance. Hit the subscribe button, click the bell icon for more videos. I am Iftikhar Ali and in this video we will be solving Business Mathematics Paper 2019 Icon 1 F by S Federal Board of Intermediate and Secondary Education. So first question is about the MCQs. If 2, 7, x 49, then value of x will be 14. Simply 2 multiply by 49 and 7 uh, multiply by x. Take these two values uh, on the left and right of the equal and solve for x. Uh, second MCQs amount is equal uh, to principal plus interest. Third MCQ, if payment starts on a certain date and continues for an indefinite period, then it is called perpetuity. Fourth one, the roots of x square plus 2x plus 1 equals to 0 is a equals, uh, first option is correct, minus 1. The roots of ax square plus bx plus c equals to 0. If a is not equal to 0 or real and unequal, if correct option is b square, is greater than 4ac. MCQ number 6, if function of x equals to x divided by x plus 2, x is not equals to minus 2, then function of minus 1 equals to correct option is c minus 1. The value of determinant of every identity matrix is always equals to 1. Uh, binary 10110 in decimal number is correct option is 22. If 2x by 7 plus 1 equals to 0, then value of x equals to correct option is minus 7 by 2. Uh, MCQ number 10 commission on rupees 3500 was rupees 175. The rate of commission is 5 percent. Section B. Question number 1, 3 men invested rupees 18,000, 12,000, 6,000 respectively. How should they share the profit of rupees 3600? Uh, same question is also calculated in previous paper several times. So first of all, we need the simplified ratio between these three. Uh, first uh, person investment is 18,000. Second, 12,000. Third, 6,000. Take the simplified ratio. A kaisa table jo in tino pe chala jaye. 6,000, 1's are 6,000. 6,000, 2's are 12,000. 6,000, 3's are 18,000. So, simplified ratio is 3 to 1. Uh, now, take the sum of the ratio. That is 6. Or, iske baad, is profit ko divide kare. Is sum of the ratio ke upar. Or, 1 by 1 in Tino persons ya tino partners ke saath multiply karte jayen. To pehle ka jo profit hai, wo 1800, second person's profit 1200 and third person's profit will be 600. Question number 2, an accidental motor car of cost rupees 29500 is sold at a loss of 43.5%. Find the loss and the selling price. First of all, cost of the car is 29500. Loss in percentage is equals to 43.5%. So, in amount, loss will be 29,500 multiplied by 0.435. This loss is 1 to 2.5. Selling price of a car equals to 29500 minus 1 to 2.5 equals to 1667.5. Out of 18, 80,000 seats in a cricket stadium, 12% seats were occupied by VIPs and 39040 seats by general public. How many seats are unoccupied? So, total seats are 80,000. Seats occupied by VIPs equals to 80,000 multiplied by 0 0.12. 9,600 seats jo hai, ye VIPs ki hai, aur general public ki jo seats hai, wo hai 39040. Unoccupied seats, jo hai, total mein se in dono ko minus kar dhe, 80,000 minus 9600 minus 39040 and unoccupied seats are 31360. Question number 4. How long will it take for rupees 4000 to become rupees 4800 at 10% simple interest? So, 4000 is principal amount, 4800 is future value, interest rate is 10%. Uh, so, what is missing here? Missing is N time period so future value formula should be applied here future value under simple interest 
will be equals to p multiplied by 1 plus i n so future value is 4800 equals to principal amount is 4000 1 plus interest rate is 0 0.10 and solve for n so n will be equals to 2 years uh, question number 5 find the solution set of x equals to y and 2x plus y equals to 3 if x equals to y and 2x plus y equals to 3 then 2x equals to 3 minus y and x should be equals to 3 minus y by 2 and that will be equals to 1.5 minus 0 0.5 y now put the value of x into equation so 2x plus y equals to 3 uh, simply put the value of x here x is equals to 1.5 minus 0 0.5 y uh, 2 multiplied by 1 plus 5 minus 0 0.5 y plus y equals to 3 and finally it will be equals to 3 minus y plus y equals to 3 where minus y and plus y will be cancelled and 3 equals to 3 find the break even point for the following cost and revenue function cost function is 10x plus 600 revenue function is 30x so first of all we will have to calculate the profit function uh, revenue function 30x minus cost function 10x plus 600 when we open the brackets this plus sign will be changed into minus sign so 30x minus 10x minus 600 so finally profit function will be 20x minus 600 so at break even point profit is considered to be 0 so profit is equals to 0 and 20x minus 600 solve for x x equals to 600 divided by 20 equals to 30 so at selling 30 units profit will be zero question number seven find the multiplicative inverse of the matrix a equals to minus 1 7 8 minus 16 uh, a inverse equals to adjoint of a divided by a determinant where a adjoint uh, simply change the positions of these two elements and change the sign of these two elements so minus 16 minus 1 plus 7 will be converted into minus 7 and plus 8 will be converted into minus 8 and determinant of a is equals to uh, minus 1 multiplied by minus 16 minus 7 multiplied by 8 cross multiply so it will be equals to minus 40 so a inverse equals to adjoint of a divided by a determinant minus 16 minus 7 minus 8 minus 1 divided by minus 40 and that will be equals to minus should be cancelled with this minus 16 by 40 7 by 40 8 by 40 and 1 by 40 and 0 0.4 0 0.175 0 0.2 0 0.025 question number eight uh, abbas purchased some goods for rupees 7500 he was allowed a trade discount of 7%. Find the amount of discount uh, solution. So, uh, first of all, purchase of goods is uh, 7500 and uh, discount percentage is 7%. Amount of trade discount is equals to uh, 7500 multiplied by 0 0.07. That will be equals to 525. Uh, so that will be the amount of discount find the difference of binary 1100 minus 111 binary so here is the solution uh, subtraction is given here answer will be 0101 uh, find the value by changing into decimal number system 945 decimal plus 1111 uh, binary so first of all uh, we need to convert into decimal this binary number will be converted into decimal uh, so always it started from the right so 1 multiply by 2 raised to power 0 plus 1 multiply by 2 raised to power 1 plus 1 multiply by 2 raised to power 2 and plus 1 multiply by 2 raised to power 3 and that should be equals to 15 so 945 plus 15 equals to 960 decimal question number 11 solve for x and y and z if x y y z uh, plus 2x minus y 3y minus 4z equals to 6089 uh, it is the same question which, which is asked in the previous paper 2018 supplementary so solution is given here if you want to uh, see the detailed uh, solution you can consult that video but 
x is equals to 2, y equals to 2 and z should be equals to minus 3. Section C, question number 3, part A. A salesman is paid a salary of rupees 500 per month and 1% commission on sales. If his total income uh, in one month is rupees 750, find the value of his sales in that uh, month. So monthly salary is 500 and commission on sale is 1% and total income in one month is 750. So it means if salary is 500, then he is getting 250 uh, commission. And commission is 1% of sales. So, this 250 is 1% of total sale. If this is 1% of total sale, then simply multiply with 100 and the total sales should be 25,000. A bank lends rupees 12,50,000 for two years on 3 by 4 of the amount bank charged 4% interest. On the balance bank charge 5% interest. What is the amount of total simple interest? It means that uh, 3 by 4 is simply 75%. So it means that uh, out of this 12, 12, uh, 12, 50, amount, 75% of that amount the bank is charging 4% interest and remaining. 25% uh, amount bank is charging 5% interest. So, first of all, 75% of 125000 is 937500. And on this amount, bank is charging 4%. So, interest rate is 4%. And remaining amount uh, will be equals to 312500. And on this amount, bank is charging 5%. So, we will have to apply a simple interest formula for two times. Uh, time period is uh, two years. So, n is two years and for this amount, uh, interest rate is 4% and for this amount, interest rate is 5%. So, simply apply the simple interest formula. Uh, P I N. So P is 937500 multiplied by I is interest rate 0 0.04 and N is 2 and it is equal to 75,000 and remaining amount is 312500 interest rate on that amount is 0 0.05 or 5 percent and time period is 2 and for simple interest for that amount is 312500 simply add up these two amount and total interest is 106250 uh, after that question number 4 part a how much amount deposited now that will pay rupees 4000 at the end of each half year for 15 years if interest is 12% compounded 6 monthly uh, so, it is the question of NOT because multiple payment streams or uh, receipt streams are involved here. Uh, at the end of each half year for 15 years, rupees 4000 at the end of each half year for 15,000. So, R is 4000, time period is 15. Uh, because is it is semi annual case compounded six monthly so n will be equals to 15 multiplied by 2 equals to 30 interest rate is 12 percent annually and semi annually it will be six percent and uh, what we want to know how much amount deposited now so principal amount or present value is missing here so present value formula of NVT ordinary NVT will be applied here that will be equals to R multiplied by 1 minus 1 plus I raised to power minus N divided by I. So simply put the values into this formula and solve for present value. Present value will be 55059.2. Uh, part B that solve the following equation by using Cramer rule 4x minus y equals to 13, 3x minus 2y equals to 6. So uh, these are two equations. So first create the matrix. 4 minus 1 3 minus 2 should be first matrix and variables are 2 x and y and second matrix is 13 and 6 and x equals to a x determinant divided by a determinant and y equals to a y determinant divided by a determinant so we need here three different determinants so a de determinant simply cross multiply and subtract 
4 multiplied by minus 2 minus minus 1 multiplied by 3 as it is given here. So A determinant is minus 5. After that, take this column and put it here and take the determinant. So 13 multiplied by minus 2 minus minus 1 multiplied by 6 and it will be equals to minus 20. After that, take this column from here and put it here and take the determinant 4, 13, uh, 3 and 6. So 4 multiplied by 6 uh, minus 13 multiplied by 3 and the answer will be minus 15. So simply we now have these three values. So just put up uh, in the formula of x and y and x will be equals to 4 and y equals to 3. Question number 5 part is suppose cost function is 15x plus 3000 and revenue function is 30x. Find the profit function also find the profit of 500 units. So profit function is equals to revenue function minus cost function. So revenue function is 30x minus cost function is 15x plus 3000. So when we open the brackets this plus sign will be converted into minus. So 30x minus 15x, 15x minus 3000. This is your profit function. And what is the profit on 500 units? Simply put 500 instead of x. So 15 multiplied by 500 minus 3000 and profit should be 4500. Part B evaluate by changing into decimal number system. So first of all we have to convert these two binary into decimal. Uh, I already uh, told you that uh, when we convert uh, binary into decimal we always start from the right. So first of all uh, 1111000. First of all, we will convert this binary into decimal. So, 0 multiplied by 2 raised to power 0 plus 0 multiplied by 2 raised to power 1 plus 0 multiplied by 2 raised to power 2 plus 1 multiplied by 2 raised to power 3. Similarly, raised to power 4, raised to power 5, and raised to power 6. And after solving, it will be equals to 120 decimal. After that, we will convert this binary number into decimal. Start from right. 1 multiplied by 2 raised to power 0 plus 1 multiplied by 2 raised to power 1 plus 1 multiplied by 2 raised to power 2 and so on. Uh, solution is given here. So this should be equals to 231 decimal. And uh, this is also in the form of decimal. So simply uh, 120 plus 231 and minus 39 that should be equals to 312 so thank you that is the end of the video and stay touched and stay blessed and take care of yourself and the persons around you uh, soon i will come again with some new concepts thank you